My name is Jeff Smith and I'd like to talk to you about enclosures. I began doing canvas work in 1973. At that time we utilized clear vinyl which you all are familiar with. Press polish 40 gauge is the most prominent. On the lesser boats we use roll goods. The vinyl has problems as you all know. About three years is its limit for being sustainable and, and something that you would accept. Being an avid boater and getting aggravated by this, I had some ideas in my head and when I went fishing on the Pemberley Lynn, a 39 Topaz Royale, coming back from the canyons, I found myself crouching down and looking through the acrylic windshield instead of the enclosure that I had made and I did a pretty good job. But that enclosure had distortion in it and the rain just did not beat off of it properly. However, the acrylic windshield did. After that ride and catching a 50 pound tuna and cruising back from the canyons into Ocean City, Maryland, I decided that I'd get off of my butt and develop the idea I had in my head, which was to utilize acrylic, put a fabric border around it and put zippers on it so it would have the flexibility and ability to open and close like a normal enclosure, but give you the distortion free acrylic for the base. When I developed the Clearview product in 1989, I applied for and received a patent, number 5,121,703. That patent had 50 claims which held strong. By 1992, I trademarked the name Easy to CY, which many of you are familiar with. The product looked like this, with a fabric around it and pockets made with stitches that don't go through the acrylic but were there to give a sharp crease. This made, and it goes three quarters of an inch up onto the glass, made an extraordinary enclosure and still is. The Muff Diver was one of my early installations in 1990 and I replaced that enclosure in 2011. On the Muff Diver, even after 21 years, the enclosure looked this clear. But the fabric around it, the border fabric of Stamoid, had disintegrated to the point where zippers could no longer be replaced. But after inventing the enclosure in 1989 and being with Easy to See Why and, and signing on more than 25 companies and having a good run, I was tired. 20 years. I sold that company in 2009 and started doing some other things. But as an avid boater and always keeping things in my head and knowing uh, the enclosure was my field that I enjoyed, I had another idea to make a better enclosure. The easy to see why method utilized four different stitches for the sides. All of these stitches I felt were enabled it to capture more dirt and be more problematic. My new system utilizes one stitch to hold the zipper, to hold the zipper in place. The new method uses one stitch, making a much cleaner product. The bottom sections on easy to see why took six stitches where the cool to see takes two stitches. It's a much cleaner process and it gives you more visibility because it only goes a half inch up onto the glass instead of the three quarters of an inch. And a quarter of an inch means a lot especially at the bottom panel where you're looking down trying to see your bow pulpit See the log floating in front of your boat? A quarter of an inch can mean a lot. On the sides, when you have a quarter of an inch for each seam, that means you're taking up a half inch of visibility for your center zipper. I've always tried to minimize where the zipper is, so there's three quarters of an inch where the zipper is. There's, it can't be any less than that. But the fabric now only goes up instead of the three quarters, like on easy to see why, it only goes up onto it a half inch. Still have the minimum, still have the amount of overflap, try to keep water out of the boat with the cool to see and clear to see UV way. In 2011 I developed clear to see UV and cool to see. 
clear to see UV looking just like the easy to see why in the respect that it's completely clear but it blocked 98 percent of UV where easy to see why only blocks 70. The 70 percent left UVA which is the most prominent UVA UV and that comes through the clouds so you're least guarded then you take off your glasses you think that you're not being uh, having an issue but you need that protection and our clear to see UV is clear as glass and blocks 98 percent of that UV you could call it a broad spectrum. I also invented cool to see that at that time 2011 cool to see same as clear to see UV blocking 98 percent of UV but it also blocks 23 percent of infrared heat. It has a slight green hue to it but when you go from direct sunlight to behind that panel 15 degrees cooler 10 degrees cooler than other enclosures. To see it, it makes a big difference. Cool to see, makes night vision better, it's cleaner, and we develop it in such a way that it's bonded on and you don't have all the stitches that I used to with, with easy to see why.